Hi, God bless everyone. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and I pray, God, that you will help me to say what you want me to say and bless the hearts and minds of the people to receive this word the way that you want them to. And I pray this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. So I want to, I have to give a backstory before I go into this dream, and it was a really quick flash dream. But anyway, you know, on my channel, I say a lot of things that are very high level is what I call it, high level. A lot of things I don't want to say. And God calls me forth to speak on these things. Some of the things that I talk about, I've known for years. And I just haven't talked about it because God has not called me forth to talk about it. And there's things now that I could say. If I just wanted to make a bunch of videos, I could do that. I'm, that would be nothing to me. But I don't want to be in disobedience to God. And, and sometimes I have even had angels tell me not to release some of the things that I know. They, they want me to know and my you know close people around me to know. But they will even tell me, don't release that right now. Like Sometimes they'll say, don't release it. Or they'll, they'll say, don't release it yet. And so, and I'll, and they'll sing that they'll like sing it to me. Like they talk to me, but when they talk, it sounds like they're singing sometimes. And that's what they'll be saying. Like in the same dream when I'm, something's being revealed or something's being confirmed to me. So anyway, with all of that being said, the things that I do release are still things that cause the enemy to come against me. And the enemy is coming against us all. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, he he really has come against me, like in terms of, you know, if he can't get to me, you know, I, I released a dream before where I was shown that Satan threatened me to my face. He was like, I can't get to you. I can't get to your daughter. So I'm going to come after your mom. And, and, you know, he tried to come after my mom and I talked to my mom. She anointed her house and everything. And you know, I, I told her that Satan had threatened me and all of that. And she did take it seriously. And I thank God for that in Jesus name. And um, trying to come after friends, trying to come after people that I know and everything like that. So if you have situations like that, where you have like people in your life, your children's acting crazy, your spouse is acting crazy. You know, it could be that the devil can't get to you. So he's trying to come against someone close to you, things like that. So anyway, I have been going through a lot of just problems, just one after another, just problems, 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 problems. And so I cried myself to sleep and I was like, God, you know, why so much pain? Why so much suffering? You know, why all these problems in my life? And, and I, I said, yes, I know the scriptures. I know that man's days are but a few days and those days are full of trouble. I know, I know, but is there anything that can be done to relieve some of this, this suffering? And I just cried myself to sleep to God about that. And so I went into this really quick dream and I saw myself just dancing and I was so happy. And I was just, you know, just like a ballerina, but I was like, not just a ballerina on the ground. I was like elevated and I was going like through the air dancing. It was so beautiful. And I was wearing like a dancing, like a ballerina outfit, you know, no skin and nothing was showing. And I was thin and I was just so, I just felt so good. And I was just dancing to God and worshiping him and dance. And Jesus came and I didn't see him this time, but he spoke to me and he said, pray for one another. And when he said that the Holy Spirit in the dream told me that that is how I would have a peaceable life, a peace, you know, more peace, a peaceable life is what I was told by the Holy Spirit. So anyway, it was just a quick dream and it ended. So I, that's why I didn't post it. Because I was like, ah, oh, it's just a two-second dream. You know, what's the point? I do feel led to post it. So that's why I'm posting it now. So after I had that dream, I was really shocked. Because I went in the scripture and I wanted to see if there was anything in the scripture that could back this up, um, you know, biblically. And so I went into this first scripture in James. And it said, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And I know I know that scripture already very well. So I said, yeah, I know you pray for one another. You can be healed. Yes, but I'm, I want a peaceable life. And the way I had looked it up in the Bible, I looked up a search for pray for one another. And it was, you know, I just put it the way that it was told to me by the Lord. And so... I didn't see what I was looking for. I wanted to find a, a scripture that said I would have a, this peaceable life. And I was literally led to 1 Timothy 
chapter two. I, I did, because this did not match my search. I was literally led to this. And first Timothy says, exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may be led, that we may lead, I'm sorry, a quiet and peaceable life in all uh, godliness and honesty. So that one just blew me away because that was exactly what God was coming to tell me what he was getting through, that I can have a more peaceable life if we, you know, just pray for one another. So asking people to pray for me before I had this revelation was something that I did, you know, here and there, you know, every blue moon. But if, if anyone has noticed in the comment section, I've been asking people to pray for me like a lot since August, because that's when I had this revelation. And so that's why I'm, I've been doing that. So, you know, just so you know, in case anybody says, oh, it's so weird. Why does she keep asking everybody to pray for her? You know, But that's why, you know, and, and I, I say that now, please do keep me in your prayers. Pray for me, pray for my health, pray for my ministry, pray for my children, you know, um, pray for us. My children and I are very saved Christians. They don't listen to worldly music, um, glory to God. But my children are very, very saved. So don't get it twisted. You know, when I say pray for me, it's not because we're living in sin. It's because, you know, just being a Christian, being a person that is um, used by God to speak on different things, it, it causes attacks, you know, and just you all as well. Any Christian is going to you're going to have attacks. And especially if you're a minister, especially if you are. Um, in any of the ministerial uh, gifts of the Lord, exercising those gifts, no matter what they are, um, the devil is going to come against you to destroy your ministry, no matter what your ministry is. Your ministry can be exhortation, and that's a very powerful, needed ministry, especially to people like me. And the devil will try to come against the exhorters so they don't exhort the, the other people and they don't do their job. So, you know, just, just pray for each other, you know, encourage other people to pray for you as well. Don't be ashamed of that. You know, that's definitely what Jesus was teaching me. You know, just, we need to come together. We need to come together in unity and just lift each other up in prayer. And, um, so we can leave, live this much peaceable life. And so I just thank God in Jesus name for this video. And I pray that it comes across and that people live a better life. You know, I, I know that I have, I've been asking people to pray for me and I can see the difference in my life, you know, just uh, less attacks. And I give God the glory for that in Jesus name, because it was rough. And I'm telling you, it's so important to live a godly life because these devils, they will look for any angle that they can. You know, I don't watch worldly movies and, and anything like that. But um, at one point about, I don't know how, how long ago, but I had watched a, a couple of worldly movies because it was just like my dreams. And I said, oh, it's just like my dreams. And I said, oh, no, you know, I don't even want to watch that, even if it's like my dreams, because those movies are full of subliminal messaging. So I don't watch anything ungodly. I don't watch any ungodly movies. And somebody tell me, oh, this, this movie is just like your dream. Okay. Okay. I don't watch it anymore. And I give God the glory for that. But um, I don't mess around. I can't mess around because this is war. This is a war that we're in. It really is. It really is a war. And we are so close to getting, you know, protected. And a lot of people hate it when I use the word rapture. I really don't care. And, you know, there will be a rapture. Uh, okay, God has shown me that there will be a rapture. And a lot of people don't believe in a rapture. I don't, I, I'm not going to debate that. I know there will be a rapture. Now, what kind of rapture it is, I don't care to debate that. Is, is it going to be pre-trib? Is it mid-trib? Uh, those terms mean nothing to me. They mean nothing. They, they aren't in my vocabulary. What I believe in is that certain things have to happen before the rapture, because that's what the Bible says. And after those things happen, the rapture, will take pl the rapture is, can take place. I'll put it that way. But certain things have to happen first. That is what I believe in. And so anyway, we are close to being protected. Many of us are having dreams about being protected in the tribulation. I just had a dream about that, my arc dream. And I've had, you know, my daughter had an arc dream as well. I don't know if you guys caught that because I didn't say it in the video, but I put it on a slide that my daughter had just had one like a month before me. She also saw Noah's arc. So these, you know, we're having the same type of warnings. 
of, about being protected for what's coming. Now, what kind of protection is that? Is that a rapture or is that divine protection on the earth? And I have seen divine protection on the earth as well. So, you know, that's, that's for God to decide how to be God. And, um, but the thing is, well, the point I'm trying to make is that we are so close to that. And so the devil has been trying to throw everything at us, you know, everything, everything he can, everything he can to, you know, get us to doubt God, get us to turn away from God, get us to turn away from our ministries. I mean, he is trying everything and it's nasty and it's evil. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Keep trusting in God. Keep loving God. Keep loving your neighbor. Keep doing good. Keep your ministry. Don't let up. Don't let people cause you to change who you are in Christ and to change your ministry. You know, just keep going on. And I love you all so much. I will continue to pray for you. And like I said, please pray for me too. Bye.